Welcome back troglodytes to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglodyte's Guitar Show. Chicago Music Exchange, a location where you can find tons of really cool vintage guitars crammed, packed into one place. Not only do they deal in vintage instruments, but they also sell new ones, and they have a habit of doing custom colors on ordinary run guitars. For example, last year we talked about their SG standards with their T-Type pickups. They offered them in a plethora of colors. But a few days ago while browsing Reverb, I saw their next Gibson victim. Remember these guys from 2018? They revamped them in 2019 for Gibson's modern collection. And when they did that, they also increased the price and birthed the double pickup version as well as a DC bass. I've reviewed all three of these models in the past, so definitely check out this, this, and this video. But essentially, they were a flat mahogany body with a maple neck and rosewood fretboard with a very simplified setup with the pickups all installed on a pickguard. They might not look like much and they might seem expensive for what they are, but they're a lot of fun to play. But these were offered in worn cherry, worn brown, worn ebony, and blue stain. Just in case none of those finishes ever did anything for you, Chicago Music Exchange has now hooked us up with two additional finishes. So here we are, CME has birthed the worn white finish with tortoiseshell pickguard, that seems to be CME's thing. And they've also given us a worn TV yellow. Now TV yellow, people were asking and begging for that finish to be used on this. So CME kind of went in and captured that market of what people were wanting. And they also offered these on the special with the white as well as the TV yellow. And hey, you can also do the base. I think it looks a lot better on the worn white base though. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. I'm not quite sure how I feel about the tortoiseshell pick guard on the worn white finish. I'm sure if you're more familiar with Fender guitars, it probably makes a little bit more sense, but me as a Gibson fan, it's just not something I'm used to seeing. <laughs> and maybe it's just the white background not doing this finish justice. I would love to see one of these in person. But with it being the TV white finish, it looks like you're gonna be able to feel the wood grain. It's gonna be a very flat finish, just like the other ones were, but maybe even less smooth than they were. But the only thing that's a little bit sad here is you now have a solid finish over the neck. And the thing I love about these things being maple necks is sometimes you can find stupidly figured ones that don't belong on a sub $1,000 guitar. They're out there, you just have to do some hunting. Something I would have really liked though is if they would have ditched the black stained holly veneer and did it white. Wouldn't that be interesting? A matching headstock version of one of these, that would have made it truly special and made me want to purchase one of these for another review and demo. Moving on to the yellow one, I think the tortoise shell works better with this. For whatever reason, red, yellow, it just works. And I find the black plastics further complement this combination. I can see a lot of people changing out these pick guards though just because they want this TV yellow finish that everyone was asking for. The stock photo one has a couple of mineral streaks, which I think kind of look ugly in this case, but you know, sometimes they look cool. But it looks like this one does have a transparent yellow neck, which if I think about it, I can't remember another Gibson product that has a transparent yellow neck. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. It makes me wonder if the white is also transparent and I'm just missing it in these stock photos. I'm not sure if a yellow headstock would work on this one if they went with my idea though but these are still coming in Gibson gig bags. Pretty much the only thing different on the special is you got the neck pickup and the pickup selector switch, but in case you missed my videos, all of these modern juniors also have the neck pickup route. So if you find a junior at a great price used, you can modify it without having to do additional routing to make it into one of these specials. The more and more I'm looking at this from far away, the better it's looking. Here, I'll go ahead and chop the background off so we can see it with something that's not white. You're welcome. <laughs> but for some reason, I almost think this double pickup doesn't work with the TV yellow finish. Maybe it's just the wood grain that's on this particular example that's not complementing stuff. But I would have to say, for whatever bizarre reason, this looks better. Maybe it's even just the way the pick guard was made. It's funny how things like that transpire. 
but knowing how each individual guitar's wood grain will affect the look this much, that would definitely make me want to see which one I'm ordering before I purchase it. That's the one downside of buying from CME and some other dealers that don't share photos of the exact guitar you're buying. You're getting this guitar, but it might not be that particular one. Now the bass. They should have just done a yellow pickup cover on it. That would have been goofy. Or maybe even just left it alone with black. I'm not quite sure if that white works or not. Maybe it looks cooler in person than it does right here. It almost looks like it has like some sort of uh, chrome cover around the edges. And once again, not really digging the wood grain on this one. TV yellow is just kind of something you have ingrained in your mind that is just small little pores everywhere, not this long wavy grain. See, this is the type of wood grain I think of with a TV finish. But cool nonetheless that we have the option for a TV yellow base. But this one, I think this is the real winner of the base. It's got the matching pickup with the finish. Even that fretboard matches really well with the tortoiseshell pick guard. I'm definitely digging it. Ah. Okay, look at this. I've been seeing it wrong this whole time. I'm sure somebody already corrected me in the comment section. It looks like it's just a chrome cover over top of it, and it was reflecting like the studio. So that's not actually going to be white on this one. It's just going to be a chrome cover. That makes a little bit more sense, but is a little bit of a letdown here, but I think it will still work visually in person too. And now the big question, how much do these things cost? Well, the juniors and the specials, their regular price, $8.99 and $9.99. But for whatever reason, the base models are actually more expensive than the standard by $50. It can't be due to the finish, so it must come down to the shiny pickup cover. Interesting. When I saw these exclusives show up on my feed, I was really hopeful that they did a triple P90 version, and even more so hopeful that my green one would have existed. This is the guitar I want Gibson to make, a higher end version of one of these, but still keep it affordable. Maybe we'll see it at NAMM. But now that we know about these new CME exclusive finishes, let's go ahead and hear how these instruments sound. <laughs> Question left, would you rock a CME exclusive Les Paul Jr. slash special or not? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click on the links in the description to check these out, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.